I've just developed a list of 10 items that will completely revolutionize your outputs within ChatGPT. Now these are secrets I've picked up on from prompting for sometimes hours per day, skillfully perfecting my craft. I don't know what you do, but I spend a lot of my time on ChatGPT and that's why I'm bringing this content to you so that you can learn and become better when it comes to prompting because once you learn how to prompt in ChatGPT, it does a lot of things for your life. One, it helps you learn a lot of information very quickly. Number two, it helps you retain that information. So you can use ChatGPT not only to learn information very quickly, but to retain it. And number three, something that people often overlook is you can actually use ChatGPT to engineer your life in multiple ways, whether that's creating checklists, creating a grocery list, schedules, and you can actually integrate all of this into your life to systemize boring and repetitive tasks or help speed up a certain process. That way you can spend your time doing the more important things, things that are actually going to move the needle. You can seriously use ChatGPT as a tool to speed up and engineer those tasks in your life that you do not need to be spending your time on. Now, before I jump into these 10 secrets that make your outputs much better within ChatGPT, I wanted to let you know that I do have a ChatGPT course. And I know what you're thinking before you click off and say, oh my gosh, another YouTuber with a course. This course and community is designed to help you not only evolve in ChatGPT, but in AI. ChatGPT is a staple within artificial intelligence and you need to understand and master it because it's kind of been this huge push in the big market mover in the world of artificial intelligence. So it's something that everybody can use. And if you're not utilizing it to its maximum potential, then you're falling behind. And that's what I teach you in the course, how to use ChatGPT to its maximum potential to engineer your life completely. And you also get a nice community to go along with it. Now let's jump into 10 ChatGPT secrets in order to revolutionize your outputs. Secret number one, which shouldn't be much of a secret, but it is because people don't do it, is to follow up prompt in ChatGPT. Now follow up prompting is good for three things, analyzing, understanding, and expanding on your outputs. If you don't understand that, then you don't understand ChatGPT. Follow up prompts within your same chat thread, keep the conversation going. It helps you retain information better. It helps you learn information better. And it also helps you analyze and diagnose and dive deeper into your problems to find those good solutions. Let me show you a quick follow-up prompt example. I can ask ChatGPT, what are the benefits of electric cars? And I can send that message off. And then ChatGPT will give a very nice description and probably a numbered list of the benefits of having an electric car. And now here you have your list of benefits for electric cars. But if you want to do actual good research that helps you come to a conclusion or make a decision on purchasing this electric vehicle, something you may wanna ask and something that you need to be aware of is the opposite side of things. So how does this compare to traditional gasoline cars? This is important when you're doing any sort of research or when you wanna maximize on your outputs with ChatGPT. Prompt to see the other side, right? So a good follow-up prompt would be, how does this compare to traditional gasoline cars? I spelled gasoline wrong, it really doesn't matter. ChatGPT will know what I'm talking about. I'm going to send it off. And this is a good prompt for analyzing your initial generated knowledge with ChatGPT. It's very important to keep on follow-up prompting and digging deeper into your solution or problem that you're dealing with. And now it's going into comparing electric cars to traditional gasoline cars. So now I can see some more points into why I might not want an electric car or why I might want to get one in the future. Follow-up prompting goes further than just that. You can ask many different questions and many different follow-up prompts, but it's important to keep that in mind when prompting in ChatGPT if you want to maximize on your outputs. Secret number two for better outputs in ChatGPT, which is so overlooked, is custom instructions. This is available for everybody, free users and paid users in ChatGPT, and I have personally hacked custom instructions to handle a multitude of different tasks. Let me show you how I'm using custom instructions, that way you can implement this in your workflow. So what are custom instructions? Well, custom instructions allow you to change the output of ChatGPT in any way that you want. You can make ChatGPT any personality you want, any persona, any profession. It's super powerful, and you can get there by opening up your sidebar, heading down to your profile, selecting that and then hitting custom instructions. And once you do, this box will pop up in the middle of your screen. And these two sections allow you to completely manipulate ChatGPT to your liking. As you can see, I have a ton of information in these boxes and this isn't by accident. Anytime I have a problem, I input a professional role that ChatGPT needs to become and how it should respond as that role. And I know what you're thinking. Do you just type this out every time? That seems like a lot. No, I do not type this out. I have a pre-filled database with 300 different personas. Let me show you. As you can see, I have these 300 custom personas for ChatGPT that I offer for sale on my website. 
Thousands of people have bought these and thousands of people love them. And the reason they love them is because you can quickly change ChatGPT to any profession that you're dealing with. So there's 300 different custom personas in here. Maybe I want help with my content. Well, I can empty these boxes for custom instructions in ChatGPT, and then I can head over to my 300 custom personas and find something like a content strategist. And these boxes are pre-filled. So all I have to do is copy this first section to my clipboard, and then I paste it in. And this first box of custom instructions asks, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And what I've done by copying and pasting in this role is I've made ChatGPT a professional content strategist. So now it's going to be thinking like a professional content strategist. But since ChatGPT outputs information to us, we also want it to be responding like one too, which is exactly why I made the second box for every persona for how would you like ChatGPT to respond. And these two boxes work in conjunction with one another. So now ChatGPT is thinking like a content strategist and it's also responding like one too. So now when I hit save, ChatGPT is going to be responding based on those instructions. And this puts me in the top 1% of ChatGPT users, not only because I'm going the extra mile and writing out a ton of text to change ChatGPT for any persona or any profession, but what I'm also doing is I'm making this so ChatGPT's responses are unlike anyone else's. Who else do you know is in here making all of these custom instructions when they have a problem. Nobody, that's the answer, right? Nobody's taking the time to do this. So if you want unique responses that are better than the average chat GPT response, then I highly recommend it. Let me show you a quick example of how these compare when using custom instructions and when not using custom instructions. I'll give chat GPT the same prompt for both. So this will be my comparison prompt. Help me create a content schedule for my artificial intelligence YouTube channel for the month of February, 2024. So I'm going to copy this so I have it ready to paste without custom instructions. But this is the response with custom instructions activated and when ChatGPT is thinking in the shoes of that professional content strategist. And while this is generating, I'm going to duplicate my ChatGPT tab and I'm going to type in that same prompt, except this time I'm going to open up my sidebar, head over to custom instructions and deactivate them. And now that these are deactivated, I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to send off this prompt without ChatGPT taking on that role. Let's see how these two things compare. So this is with custom instructions activated, okay? So this is when we turn ChatGPT into that professional content strategist. As you can see, it has big headers. It gives me big steps, things that I can actually implement into my YouTube channel for February of 2024. And with each step, it gives an objective and actions, actionable things I can do in order to help me. It gives me step one, two, three, four, five, and then after it gives me these five steps in order to create a successful February 2024 content schedule, it then gives me an example calendar structure for February 2024, and it provides me a table without me even asking, and important criteria for each video. It gives me keywords, notes, pillar content, format, content topics, and dates, and this is a very good setup. It also gives me additional considerations and certain things that I can think about when doing my content. Now let's go take a look when we deactivated these custom instructions and we did not use the custom instructions for chat GPT, right? This is what it gives us. It gives us this boring four week thing with no actionable steps. And it just says include Q and A sessions, AI news and polls and quizzes. This is what it gives us without custom instructions. Very boring, no actionable steps, nothing we can do with this. This is what happens when we activate those custom instructions, copying and pasting it in from my custom personas here. If you want those custom personas, I offer them for sale on my website. You can access them using the link in the description or the top pinned comment. I highly recommend it. Over a thousand people have bought these and loved them so far. So I highly recommend you do the same, not only to get better responses, but to also learn how to prompt good custom instructions that actually work. Secret number three for better outputs in ChatGPT is to actually change your output in ChatGPT for better output formatting that's unique to your situation. So if you're generating a blog post, in ChatGPT or you're generating some content that might need some headers or subheadings, make sure to mention that in ChatGPT. It can do that for you if you do mention it. If you say you want heading ones, heading twos, and heading threes describing each section, then tell ChatGPT to change that. Maybe you want a bullet list or a numbered list or you want a table generated. Make sure that you give ChatGPT that information because it can change the output format of your response 
which makes it much better for your situation and the exact problem that you're dealing with. Let me show you a quick couple of examples. And before I show you the examples, again, I'm gonna quickly copy and paste in my custom instructions. If you were here from last example, then you know how these work and you know how it makes responses much better. And then I'm going to hit save. So now ChatGPT is thinking like a nice copywriter. And I already have my prompt in here. Create a blog post about why candy is bad for you. This would be a decent prompt, but in order to get better outputs in ChatGPT, you need to actually specifically tell ChatGPT what you want the output format in. So I can tell it to include headings, subheadings, and sub subheadings for important points throughout the blog post. And then I can send that off. And now ChatGPT's response is going to be much better. As you can see, it adds this huge heading, the bitter truth about candy, why it's bad for your health. It gives headings, it gives subheadings, and it even gives sub subheadings, okay? And maybe I went a little overboard on the headings because it seems like it's squeezing it into just bullet lists, but you get the point. You can really manipulate the output of ChatGPT when using uh, output formatting within your prompts. I can even ask ChatGPT to create a table to go along with this blog. When I send it off, it will, it will create a table that takes the information from this post and puts it in that format, just like this. And it's very nice. You can keep changing your output of ChatGPT and keep getting those good responses. Secret number four for better outputs in ChatGPT is to utilize plugins. Now, it shouldn't be much of a secret, but it is because I don't see many people utilizing the power of plugins in ChatGPT. Let me show you a few plugins, how they work, and also the power of them when utilizing them, and how you can get amazing results in 15 to 30 seconds. So right now I have activated three plugins, and these are three use cases that I wanna show you today. I have an AI Diagrams plugin, I have a PlanFit plugin, and I also have the Wolfram plugin activated. So I'm going to use all three of these, and I'm going to show you the power of these and how you can get much better outputs in ChatGPT if you utilize plugins. So the first plugin that I wanna show you though is AI Diagrams. You can create flow charts, mind maps, and sequence diagrams. I have a full video going over that if you're interested. You can watch it in the upper right hand corner. But this is a prompt I have. Create me a detailed flow chart of how photosynthesis works. Generating things in a flow chart is going to help you with visualization and cognitive reasoning. It's going to help you connect points and see why things work the way they do and the order that they go in. So that's why I'm using this plugin and that's why it's powerful for a better output. It's a better output if you can better understand the question or problem that you're trying to solve in ChatGPT. So this is what I have here, and I'm going to send off this message, and ChatGPT is going to use the AI Diagrams plugin in order to do this. As you can see, using AI Diagram, and it's going to generate this flowchart of how photosynthesis works in a matter of about 15 seconds. Boom, just like that, ChatGPT generates a beautiful flowchart picture of how photosynthesis works. And I can even go further in depth and I can start editing this if I select this blue link beneath the picture. I can do this all with a free account in this whimsical app that ChatGPT integrates with. I can then move things around. If I want to, I can come in here and I can change the colors and I can even change the way the arrow looks if I want. I can change the direction of the arrow and I can even export this and save this. So if I'm using it for a project or a slideshow, this generated very quickly and it has a very good broad overview about how photosynthesis works and the way it runs. The next plugin I want to showcase is PlanFit, and this is going to help you with your workout plan and also give you instructional videos and diagrams on how to actually do the workout that it gives you. Let me show you. So I tell ChatGPT to create me a chest workout routine and triceps. Give me the tutorial for each workout using PlanFit plugin. Okay, so since I have it activated and when I send off that message, it's going to take all that information in, use the plugin, generate me the routine, it also tutorials on how to do the workouts when it generates that plan for me. And just like that, in a matter of about 45 seconds, this one actually took a little bit longer, it gives me different workouts I can do for my chest and tricep day. So it says incline chest press machine. And if you do not have this machine, it gives you different alternatives you can do. And they're all links. So when you click on these links, it actually takes you to planfit.ai and shows you the workout and how to do it. So what it's doing right now is it's loading up a tutorial for me so it can show me how the workout is being done. As you can see, this is PlanFit's incline press machine tutorial. And it doesn't only give you that, but it gives you coaches tips, how to, form, breathing techniques, all on PlanFit's website. And it's so cool that it generates this in ChatGPT. You have a direct link in order to show you how to do this workout and the muscles that it's working. Now, the last plugin I wanna show you is Wolfram, and this allows you to access computation, math, curated knowledge, and real-time data through the Wolfram Alpha and Wolfram language. Now, this one's very cool. 
Let me show you a quick example of how it can access that real-time data. If I type out a prompt like show me recent earthquakes in Indonesia, what it will do when I send it off is actually give me the up-to-date earthquakes from today. So if there's an earthquake that happened today, Wolfram will be able to find that and it won't only do that, but it'll give me a nice timeline of these earthquakes to better uh, show and interpret the data. So as you can see, it's giving me earthquakes that happened in Indonesia and it gives me the exact date. It says 10.1 days ago. I love how it gives me that exact information. And not only that, but watch this nice timeline that will appear of these recent earthquakes using the Wolfram Alpha plugin for ChatGPT. Boom, it looks very beautiful, it's colorful. You can save this image, you can visit the Wolfram website to get a better look. And this is just an example of how you can use this plugin to access real-time data, but it can do so much more. So now you can start to see the power of plugins, right? It's amazing. And those were just three of thousands of plugins that ChatGPT has to offer. You can imagine the powerful use cases that are out there. Another tip for better outputs in ChatGPT is to use ChatGPT to create analogies for you in order to better retain and understand complex topics. I can ask ChatGPT a complex question like, what is reverse as Moses, I can send that off, pretty complex thing, and it's going to go into all of this huge terminology and complex systems for how reverse osmosis actually works. And if I want to remember this in a better way, rather than just reading this long bit of information with all of this complex verbiage, what I can do is I can say, create me an analogy to remember this better. And then I can send that off, and ChatGPT will actually create an analogy for me so that I can connect two points to one idea or one concept, and it will help me retain this information much better. It says, think of reverse osmosis like a meticulous bouncer at an exclusive club. The club, in this case, is a clean water tank. The bouncer is a semi-permeable membrane, and the club goers are the water molecules and contaminants. So now you're starting to see these three things connect. You have a club, a bouncer, in the club goers, the people who are coming into the club, and it's starting to connect all of these concepts of reverse osmosis to an exclusive club. This is very, very cool. And it gives each of these things, the line outside the club, the bouncer, the VIP lounge, right? And it's helping you connect it to a very complex scientific topic, reverse osmosis. The next ChatGPT tip for better outputs in ChatGPT is to use generated knowledge to your advantage. So generate knowledge with ChatGPT and use that generated knowledge for other tasks or other problems that you need to solve. I can ask ChatGPT to create me 10 facts about artificial intelligence. I can send that off and then ChatGPT will give me 10 interesting facts about AI. And once this knowledge is generated, I'll show you how you can use it in order to complete another task. So boom, here we have it. 10 very interesting facts about artificial intelligence. Now let me ask ChatGPT a question in order to use that generated knowledge for success. So I can say something in regards to this generated knowledge. I can say, create a slideshow based on these 10 facts. So now I'm using this generated knowledge to help me solve another problem. And what ChatGPT is starting to do is it's generating images because I didn't specifically say slideshow outline. So now it's creating images actually for each slide of the slideshow. So AI early beginnings, it created an image, right? Machine learning, then it created an image of people learning about artificial intelligence. That's not specifically what I wanted, although cool, uh, it's not what I wanted. So what I can do is I can hit stop generating and I can edit my prompt here. And I want ChatGPT to create a slideshow outline based on these 10 facts. So an outline of a slideshow that I could create. I'm going to hit save and submit. And now ChatGPT is going to help me create that outline. But that image example was actually pretty cool. It was going in depth and creating images for each one of these slides, right? But now it's giving me a slide outline that I can utilize in order to actually create my slideshow based on these 10 facts that it generated. Again, we're using that generated knowledge in order to help us solve more problems within the same chat thread. The next ChatGPT secret for better outputs in ChatGPT is to utilize paradigms in ChatGPT. And you can either develop these yourself or get the paradigms from me, somebody who's actually studied and created successful problem solving paradigms that you can use. So once again, we're going to be utilizing custom instructions from this. Now the custom instructions tip, super useful, but how can you utilize other items within custom instructions to make it even more useful, such as my 300 personas or what I'm about to show you, my problem solving paradigms. Now you don't have to get these problem solving paradigms from me, 
By the way, I do offer it for sale on my website. I will leave it in the description or the top pinned comment. But what you can do is you can use ChatGPT to help you create these paradigms or create these paradigms that are specific to your situation yourself. But what I've done is I've created 20 and I've put it in this PDF with some basic instructions and also a nice little navigation. And this navigation brings you to each one of these different problem solving paradigms that you can quickly copy and paste into custom instructions. So let me show you the five wise custom instructions paradigm as an example. What the five wise likes to do is it likes to peel back the layers of symptoms to uncover the root cause of a problem, which promotes a deeper understanding and a more sustainable solution. So all you have to do is copy the instructions right here into your custom instructions in ChatGPT. And the custom instructions that you are going to be copying it into is the bottom section. You don't even have to fill out the top section if you don't want to. You can make this information dedicated to you and what you do and how uh, the goals you have, and you can tell ChatGPT that stuff. But what you need to do is you need to paste it into how would you like ChatGPT to respond. And then ChatGPT, once you say begin five wise analysis, will start facilitating a root cause investigation through a seven step problem solving paradigm that I have developed. And I can hit save. And now when I tell ChatGPT to begin five wise analysis and I send it off, it's going to run me through that paradigm that I pre-created. And it's going to give me step-by-step -step systems in order to solve the root cause of my problem. So it says step one, state the problem. And then I can type out my problem. I need help tying my shoe. And since this is my problem, now it's going to run me through five whys. And the five why is going to help you uncover that root cause of whatever you're dealing with. Now that might seem a little bit confusing, but when you implement problem solving paradigms or systems into anything you do, it's going to help you when you're using either a program or a certain item in your life. If you have a system for it, or you have a process for the way you do things, it's just much more efficient and it helps you engineer and save your time. That's why I use them and that's why many others have used them as well. The next ChatGPT secret for better ChatGPT outputs is to utilize photos. Do you remember the age old saying, a picture is worth 1000 words? Well, that applies to ChatGPT immensely. If you have a picture that you can upload with your prompt in order to back up your information and to help ChatGPT understand what you're dealing with, then the response and the output of ChatGPT will show that in return. It will be much, much better. You don't even need that good of a prompt when you have a good picture describing or showcasing the problem that you're dealing with. Let me show you a quick example of how you could use this. What I could do right here is I could take a screenshot of my website, right? Let's say I'm not getting the homepage conversions that I want. Well, what I could do is I could take a screenshot of the styling of my website right here. And maybe I want to increase my landing page conversions. Well, I can take a screenshot of this page and I can save it to my computer. And now that it's saved to my computer, I can head back over to ChatGPT and I can hit this little link button in the bottom left of the prompt bar. That will take you to a screen where you can upload your documents. And as you can see, I've just uploaded this photo that I took a screenshot of on the homepage of my website. And now I can ask ChatGPT a very simple question in regards to the photo. So I asked it, how can I increase form conversions on my homepage? And I can send it off and it knows that I'm talking about this photo. It can even read the text on the photo. It can see the styling on the photo and it can do everything, right? So now it's telling me simplify the form, clarify the value preposition, and it's using things that I have on my homepage. It's saying the current text, get AI tips and discount is a good start, but consider making it more specific to what your AI products offer. So it's tearing my homepage apart actually. And as you can see, it's using the information and text from the picture. ChatGPT has vision. And when you have GPT-4, you can upload photos and prompts to go with those photos in order to get much, much better customized, specialized outputs for ChatGPT and the problems that you're dealing with. The next ChatGPT tip for better outputs that I have is to use explain it to a child in order to better retain or better understand information that ChatGPT is feeding you. Because let's face it, ChatGPT sometimes uses very complex verbiage and words that are hard to understand. And similar to the analogies example, this example is going to help you grasp a concept because ChatGPT is attempting to explain it to a very young person. So that means people like us can better understand it, right? I can tell ChatGPT to do something like explain cryptocurrency, right? I can send that off and ChatGPT will do that. It will explain cryptocurrency. And there's going to be a lot of big words, a lot of complex topics, and weird connections that 
are hard to make and draw for people just reading this paragraph if you know nothing about cryptocurrency. So while this is generating, you know, we can just get our prompt ready. I can just say, explain this to a child. That's all I have to say. And once this is done generating, I can send that off and ChatGPT will explain this in a much more simple way to grasp. So it's done generating. I'm gonna send this off now. And now ChatGPT is going to dive into uh, the childlike explanation. So it's already starting by saying, imagine you have a special kind of money that you can only use on computers and the internet called cryptocurrency. It's like the coins and bills you use in real life, but it's all digital. Here's how it works. And then it goes into describing cryptocurrency like it's some sort of game and that there's super secret codes, magic puzzle solving, different names, bouncy prices and rules. So it's going into describing this as if it were explaining it to a child, which can help my mind grasp information much better. And in my opinion, these outputs are much better because we can grasp and retain this information much better as well. And the last chat GPT secret for better outputs is to combine features. So use custom instructions with plugins, use custom instructions with chat GPT vision, use all of these tips when you're prompting at once. You know, you can start to combine certain elements and everything that I've taught you in this video in order to make ChatGPT much more powerful. You can use your generated knowledge and change the output format of that knowledge that ChatGPT generated. There are a load of different things you can do and I'm not even going to get into them because there are so many different combinations of all the things that I've taught you in this video that you can utilize. Now that's all I have for this video. If you do want to learn ChatGPT in depth, then I highly recommend purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course where you won't only get access to a course, but a community of AI and ChatGPT enthusiasts who are actively learning and helping out as well. I will leave the links to all the products I utilized in this video in the description. That will also help you better understand the way ChatGPT works and how I'm using it in order to generate better responses with ChatGPT. Now, with that being said, I also have a ton of free content here on YouTube that you can learn and get value from. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and comment below letting me know what other secrets do you have for ChatGPT or let me know your feedback. Subscribe to stay updated with content on ChatGPT and other AI tools like MidJourney and other and recent up-to-date information. With that being said, I will see you within the next video.